the single most important thing I, I would say was having a mentor who's already walked the path that you yeah. can follow, that you can bounce ideas off and that there's really springboarded a lot of my success and also helped me avoid some pitfalls that I would have fell in Definitely. if I didn't have that person to, to uh, bounce ideas off. Definitely. Yeah, I mean mentors is... You know, there's there's mentors and there's mentors, right? There's people that you look yeah. up to that you feel a connection to. You know, this word alignment all comes out, all this wishy washy. But you know, I, I don't I don't buy into that side of things. I, I think for me, a, a mentor is someone that holds you accountable, and probably sometimes in some way, not always, but in some ways, you don't necessarily need to love that person all the time. And sometimes they're going to give you some really hard lessons, some tough love. That's the sort of mentor that I'm looking for. Not everyone's looking for that. Sometimes they want the wishy-washy and, you know, the mm. heartfelt leader that that is just aligned to and just lets them do kind of whatever they do and kind of just... But I don't think that's really going to dig deep into, um, you know, f- catapulting you forward that fast. And what I mean by that is a mentor that's been there and done that you know, I literally posted something last night on Facebook or there's a group or something looking for a mentor. And I said, you need to find someone that's got the scars of the front line and has come yeah. back to bring you to the front line. You know, yeah. I don't want someone that ducks underneath the table when a balloon pops off and can go to the front line and it looks all clean. Like I want someone that is dirty and messy, like that's been to the front line and come back a few times and gone, right, it's all good. We'll make it out. I'll show you how. Mm. Yeah. And also just to add into that, like you don't have a one-stop shop mentor. Like, mm. you know, my business mentor, he is health conscious. He is, you know, a great family man. He is, you know, lots of things that I, I value in his advice. But I also, you know, if he was overweight and smoked and all that, I wouldn't be taking health advice from him. I wouldn't yeah, yeah, be yeah. taking, you know, if they don't invest in property, I'm not going to go and ask him, you know, advice on property. They might be good 100%. at business, but not good at property. So you might, I, I would often refer to it as getting good um, a good mastermind, a good advisory board around you to help you navigate challenges. And just because you have an advisory board um, or people around you doesn't necessarily mean it won't work unless you actually ask for their advice. Mm-hmm. And, and one of Ray Dalio's things is triangulate decisions of smart people. So he might bounce um, a business yeah. decision of three people and then come up with a collective decision. I think that's yeah. really important. 